a clothes dryer, stuff that should be sitting in a landfill or a a recycling area. They, they bring it out here, shoot it, and then just walk away. That's how gun owners really screw over ourselves. We really do that. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Here I am at the gravel pit in Hale, Michigan. One of my favorite places to shoot. If I have a rifle or want to stretch out a bit, I can come to this pit and approximately back up to about 300 yards. It's a great place to shoot. It's managed by the state of Michigan. They would get their heavy machinery in here, a bunch of front loaders. They would move the berms around and make it a real nice place to shoot. They would also manicure the the driveway in and the, the trails around here so nobody would get stuck. It's an unmonitored range where gun owners can come and shoot their guns, have a variety of berms to, to use, and the distance would offer an advantage for people who are shooting long guns. Even back in this area, there's a place where you could go up top and shoot pistol. If somebody was shooting rifle, you could go back there, shoot pistol. When they left, if you wanted to shoot rifle, you could do that. There have been times when I have shot rifle. I saw other people that wanted to come in and shoot rifle. I packed up and went up to the pistol area just to be friendly. You don't want anybody ever shooting behind you and... I would respect the fact that they were shooting rifle and other people would respect the fact that I was shooting rifle. I would come here with Don all the time. We would set up. It's completely unmonitored and it made for a great place to shoot and exercise our Second Amendment rights. But look at this. It's locked up. It's closed. And you ask, well, why is it closed? Why is it locked up? If I go on the other side of this rail I am trespassing and potentially in court with a fine of over $800. Now last month Don and I were shooting up at the the top in the pistol area. You can stretch out to about 20-25 yards up there. That's what it's meant for but we were shooting up there and who come came in up to visit us? A couple sheriffs on the ATV. They said what are you guys up to? So we're just shooting our guns. How you doing? They wanted to know what we were shooting. Nice guys. Great guys. They said, hey, we're just here letting people know that this pit could potentially be, be closed if things don't change. And they liked us because we had steel targets. We had uh, piles of brass where we were picking up after ourselves. We weren't bringing a bunch of garbage into this range, shooting it up and leaving it for somebody else to deal with. And they said, this has been a problem. We've been dealing with this for a long time. And the people who take care of this range are sick of it. It's a dedicated shooting range from the state of Michigan. And we're out just giving people warning that if things don't change around here, we're going to close it down. Well, you can see they closed it down. They put some posts out on Facebook. They said, this is what we're, we're looking at. We're going to close this place down because people aren't taking care of it. The state of Michigan's taking care of it. Actually, the trail that comes in here is called Liberty Lane. And people would come in. They would sight in their optics. They would shoot their guns. Most people would take care of their stuff. And then they would leave for somebody else or whatever there's enough room for a lot of people to shoot here all at one time most of the time i'm shooting here you'll hear gunshots in the background and that's what it is other people shooting their guns having a good time but people would bring their garbage this is how gun owners eat their own people would bring their garbage they would bring anything that belongs in a landfill think it's fun to come up here and shoot uh, uh paper targets that eventually make their way and litter into the the forest over here they bring a wheelbarrow they bring a a clothes dryer stuff that should be sitting in a landfill or a a recycling area they, they bring it out here shoot it and then just walk away that's how gun owners really screw over ourselves we really do that you're given fair warning of what could happen, but we have a lot of weekend warriors out here because there are a ton of lakes around here. People come, they visit other people, they say, hey, we'll go up to the Hale Pit and we'll have a good time. We'll shoot a bunch of stuff and not worry about it. Well, by them not worrying about it, really stuck it to the rest of us who use this pit on a regular basis. So the sheriffs were great. They said, hey, spread the word. This place could close if things don't change. Well, Things didn't change and now it's closed. We ran into that exact same sheriff, one of them, on an ATV when Don and I were shooting at the range. 
uh, in the woods, in the National Forest. And, and he pulls up. He said, hey, I remember you guys. We said, yeah, the pit's closed. He said, yep, the pit's closed. Nobody took care of their stuff. Or shall I say, very few people took care of their stuff. And the pit is closed. I said, well, can, if we, can we park and walk down there? He said, absolutely not. That's trespassing. And you'll get a fine of upwards of $800. And so... The problem is, people didn't take care of their stuff, we closed the pit. Now nobody could use it. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks a lot for not cleaning up after your, yourselves. I like to come in here with Don. We came in here all the time. We would use a variety of the berms. We'd shoot long distance. If you're creative, you can get up to 300 yards. Primarily around 2, 250 would be an average range that you could stretch out here we would use the pistol area we'd make our videos we'd do our reviews we'd have a good time it was a great place it was totally unmonitored never had a range officer looking over our back until gun owners decide they want to leave their garbage behind and, and leave a mess for everybody else and now it's closed now we can't use it so we asked the guy we said hey the pit's closed how you know is it going to be permanent is it going to he's there two months and I have to believe they're they closing it down two months to send a strong signal to the people that come here and leave their trash that, hey, look, if, if it continues, we'll close it for good. But two months also puts it right before hunting season where a lot of people come in here and sight in their new rifles. They get new optics. They want to make sure they're all set by the time they hit their blinds or wherever they hunt that they will be all set. And most of the weekend warriors will be gone. They won't be here to screw everything up. So right there's the problem. Right there. Why is this happening? Because gun owners eat their own by leaving a mess, not cleaning up, leaving brass everywhere. And I don't even mind that because there are people that come with buckets just to pick up brass. So even if you just left brass, it would be fine because somebody comes all the time. They recycle it. They make a few bucks. They enjoy it. They consider it relaxing to come pick up other people's brass. And I've had one guy tell me, hey, just leave your brass because I come just about every day when the sun's going down to pick up the brass. But... Everything else is, you know, leaving stuff that should be garbage and thrown away. And there are places to do that around here, all over the place. But no, they bring it out here, leave it for somebody else to clean up. The state of Michigan and the people working on the, the pit and the, the berms and everything else, they're sick of it. They said, you know what? We're sick of it. We do this for gun owners, and it's the gun owners who knife, a, knife, knife us in the back when... We want to make a nice shooting place for people to enjoy their Second Amendment rights. It's a hail pit, beautiful place to shoot, beautiful greenery, nice environment. It's off of Liberty Trail, and yet gun owners eat their own, do everything in their power to screw it up so none of us can use it. Thanks a lot. It's just a shame that it's come down to this, and I'm hoping that everybody learns a lesson.